Good morning guys. Right. I was heading over to the uh, shop because I'm getting a Trans-Siberian Railway tonight and uh, I'm going to grab a load of food and chuck in my bag so I don't have to spend loads of money um, in the restaurant car there. So uh, yeah, I'm also going to grab some breakfast for today but I've got to be checked out by 12 um, so I've got a couple of hours before I have to check out. Hopefully they can store my bag for me because the train's not until like five to midnight. So uh, yeah, hopefully they can store my bag and I'll come back here later. But yeah, it's just stopped raining. It's been raining all night long, which isn't good. So, uh, but I can't say it's stopped. But I'm going to see. Go out and see a couple of things today if I can. Right, all checked out the hostel now. Bought way too much food. My bag could be closed, but it was pretty full uh, to begin with anyway. So, it was just food to save me some money on the train, that's all. <coughs> what I'm going to do now is uh, show you guys my walk down into. Uh, town so you can have a look yourself. Just straight road in. I crossed the road a couple of times just to show you the guys the uh, best buildings. But yeah, right outside Red Square. Kremlin's just down there, like just there. So it takes 10 15 minutes, depending on how fast you want to walk. So yeah, pretty nice commute, really. There's something going on in the uh, stadium where the military tattoo was last night. I'm not quite sure what it is. There's loads of uh, wheelbarrows. And Prams, airport luggage, trolley things. I'm quite sure what's going on. I'm gonna head up into a uh, cathedral if it's open. dome thing is it's own church so there's like just lots of different churches in there also they had a um, opera band in there or like some opera singers in one of the churches and it echoed throughout the whole place um, which uh, really set a nice atmosphere in there um, so yeah I don't know where I'm gonna head now through this I might head back into the Sony shop to see if they actually have the battery because uh, I'm not sure if you've got lost in translation or not. Let's take a quick look in there. It's been a bit of a rush for yesterday, so I didn't get to show you the uh, shopping centre. It's pretty amazing, just like everything in Moscow, really. There's two, there's another one over there, another like, uh, section just like this. It's all high end stuff. 
no Primark here. Uh, half hour looking around that shopping mall. It's crazy the decoration in there. Don't know any shopping mall I've been to anyway. But yeah, it's all high end stuff. Uh, went into Sony store, they definitely didn't have my battery, so I uh, have to see if I can get one in China in a week's time. I just have to deal with the battery going flat halfway through the day. Unless I can find somewhere. I need to find some internet to see if I can get uh, a bit of a search on the internet, see if I can find anywhere that sells one. We'll see. Just heading down to sit by this fountain, I eat my lunch, I bought a sandwich earlier, and I've done my food shopping. And uh, it's, yeah, in front of the, the other side of the road is the Bolshev Theatre. That's why I'd uh, come and sit down here and eat my lunch. Cool. Sharing the, uh, my lunch with the birds, bird duck, and uh, yeah, it's not nice chilling, like right fountain. Um, not sure what to do now, really. It's one o'clock, so uh, yeah, I'm not really sure. So let's go for a wonder, I think. So I decided to just jump on the metro. I'm gonna go around a couple of stops, jump off, and see what's about. Okay, so I decided to ride the metro to the end of the line, just to come out and see what it's like outside of the tourist area. And uh, so yeah, it's gonna wander about for a bit, and jump back on it and uh, head back into the city. Popped into a small department store to see if they have an electronics department, see if I can get a battery. No luck, unfortunately. But I wasn't really expecting him to have one. So, keep on trucking. Just started raining, so I'm going to head back to the metro and back into the city. Uh, there's no real reason for me to come out here. I just wanted to see what it was like without having all the money spent on it for tourism. So, uh, yeah, I just wanted to see what it was like, really. So I'm going to head back now, back into the city, probably. It's on two o'clock. Um, no. I think of something to do when I get into the city. Out here is kind of what I expected to Moscow to be like. I didn't expect it to be so like glitzy. But yeah, out here it's sort of all big grey high rises. Um, sort of all looking run down. And stuff like that. It's still not that bad. I mean, it's still looked after. So it's not as bad as I thought, as I thought it was going to be. Done it again, guys. I'm going to buy a two litre bottle of uh, water for the train later. I bought it earlier with my food. Turns out it's fizzy water. Again. Can't believe this. Again, I'm just going to drink it. I think from now on, I'll stick to Evian. It's three times as expensive, but at least I know what I'm getting. Yesterday, when I was walking back to my hostel, past all of these domes, I kind of wondered what it was. You can see into them, I can't really see what it was though. I've just been under there. It's a huge, absolutely massive underground shopping centre. Uh, now, unfortunately, no Sony centre. Uh, yeah, I'm quite hungry. So, I'm going to go back to one of these stalls that I got breakfast at yesterday and uh, grab something to eat. Just got myself some cherry pie, cherry crumble thing. Chatting to the bike there, he spoke quite good English, so I was speaking to him about what I was doing here and like, where I'm going next. So, yeah, nice to chat to someone. Oh, I'm gonna go and eat this now. Enjoy it. This is why you come out and do tourist and stuff early in the morning. It's a change of the guard that I showed you uh, yesterday. It's three o'clock in the afternoon, it's absolutely rammed. But yesterday, when I come earlier, um, there was probably a quarter of the amount of people there. So yeah, make sure you do stuff early in the morning. Pretty cool. 
chose the correct weekend to come to uh, Moscow. I didn't even know this was all off. So it was just uh, luck, really. So my battery's about to run out. So I'm going to head back to the hostel, charge it up, and also charge up my phone and my laptop before I go. Um, so I'm going on the Trans-Siberian Railway tonight. Six nights on the train. Uh, so by, by, by the time you're watching this, uh, I'll be in China. So I uh, won't be able to get this video up tonight. Um, because by the time it's finished, I'll be on the train. And there's no internet. So yeah, this one will be uploaded. Um, when I'm in China, I'm going to go back, edit yesterday's one, stick that up, make use of the internet while I'm here. Guys, I'm terrible. I tend to uh, go to do something, look around the cars, oh, something shiny. You have to go, oh, something shiny. I'm just going to see it. Uh, I'd, uh, walk around the corner. I thought I'd take a different way back to the hostel. And I just saw this uh, massive building down here, so I thought I'd uh, come and have a look, check it out. Huge. So my battery is literally about to die. So uh, I'm gonna go down here and head back to the hostel as I see something else shiny. Just got done at the hostel. I did yesterday's video, uploaded it. Uh, so yeah, going off the grid now. Well, not quite now, but. When I get to the Trans-Siberian Railway, I've got two hours, 45 minutes until it leaves. So I'm going to go and get some dinner. I need to get some cash out as well, because uh, obviously there's no cash machines on the train. So it won't be good if I run out of money on the train. So you're going to get some cash out, going to get some, something to eat. And then, uh, you yeah, know, probably find my way to the... Uh, station where at least from get there nice and early so I don't miss it. I don't really know how much I need. Uh, so I just took out 5,000 three wolves. Um, so I've got loads of food if I run out as well. So I've also, also got some money. I've still got some money so uh, yeah it's gonna be one five thousand ruble note. <laughs> so, uh, Hopefully I don't get um, declined anywhere by giving that over. Because uh, it's uh, quite a lot. But yeah, the first ATM that I went to um, wasn't in English. I mapped some buttons and nothing happened. So uh, I managed to find one that was in English. So uh, I managed to get cash out, which is good. But the, uh, first few machines I went to, I think they were like paying in machines or something like that because I typed my pin and the screen just went blank and I got a little bit worried um, obviously because I don't want it to swallow my card while I'm out here so uh, yeah but I found that the, uh, the actual cash machine took some cash out and now we're going to find some food made it guys 50 minutes to spare, loads of time. I'm gonna take a wander around here, see what's about. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna get my train and uh, it. it's quite easy actually. It's logic in English. So it's not actually uh, that difficult at all. So it's, must have been very, very easy to get around. Uh, it's the first place of my trip, but uh, I expect it to be a lot harder. I expect it to be more of a language barrier and stuff like that. But, uh, oh yeah, it's been it's been easy, really. Oh, has it? Nothing's been hard at all. So it's good. I'll definitely be coming back. Definitely be coming back to Moscow. Probably uh, in the winter, maybe. Because I know they get. Uh, Heavy snowfall, I'm sure it looks amazing in the winter. So, uh, yeah, definitely be coming back. Just literally walked out of the metro station out the front and I'm just surrounded by amazing buildings. Not that I'm surprised because Moscow's 
everything about Moscow has been like that. It's, everything is amazing in Moscow, or has been so far, so, but yeah, absolutely amazing. I was booking my tickets and everything like that for the Trans-Siberian. I was a bit worried about getting them, so I booked them for an agency. Um, but now coming here, like, honestly, I'll just come here and book it myself if I was ever to do it again. So, I mean, the, the town is great, it's got loads of shops, loads of food shops, everything. So, uh, yeah, I think there's quite a lot of people I've seen who are getting on it all with back, backpacked up like me, bag on the front, bag on the back. And uh, no, I'll definitely, definitely, if I was to do it again, just come here and book it myself because it's so easy. So so easy. Now I've just got to find where my train is and get on it. Head to China all the way. Any guys, here we are. Pretty small. But, uh, you'll do. All the way to Beijing, non stop. This little bed here. So yeah. <sighs> Made it. Got Another 20 minutes. I'm going to say goodnight here. Um, don't forget to subscribe and uh, I'll catch you next time. So I said goodnight, but this is a train. Absolutely massive. Absolutely huge. All the way from Moscow to Beijing. It does stop on the way, but I'm not. It's my uh, bunk buddy Nico up there. I don't know if there's going to be anyone else in with us. Um, he's Italian. I think he's making videos as well, so I'll chat to him. I've got a long, long time to chat to him on the way. So, uh, yeah, but excited. Got about seven minutes until we leave. Just thought I'd take a wander up the front and uh, have a look at the train. It's quite a long train. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. About fifteen carriages, one engine on the front, a service car, and a uh, dining car as well. So, yeah, lots of excited people, lots and lots of excited people, which is good. So yeah. Anyway, now I'm going to say good night. Catch you later, guys.